Hello people. <laughs> Welcome to my trip to reality. Episode 50. It's episode 50. I don't know if it's mean if it means something special. It's like, you know, it's 50. It's halfway to 100 and 100 is quite a lot. 50 is also quite a lot, especially if you're doing this once a week. Now, let me just take this jacket off and I just had it on because I, you know, I wanted to like, hey, look at my jacket because it looks cool. <sighs> if that's in frame. God damn it. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, okay? I, I mean, honestly, how am I feeling? You know, I am so tired, just physically, really, and let me break it down to you. This is probably going to be one of the more real episodes, okay? I finished work, and I felt like, you know, it's episode 50, I was supposed to bring out the audio episode on Wednesday, um, even though if not a lot of people are listening, I like to, you know, obviously be on track, you know, yeah, being on track, and when it doesn't happen, it's like, damn it, I should have this under control, um, and when I don't, it's like, and it, when it's something important, like this is important for me. I'm drinking coffee out of a whiskey glass. Okay. And goddamn, I really need that coffee. Okay, so the thing is, um, there's a little bit of backstory to why I'm so fucking busy with my other job. You see, this is the most raw as you can get me, I think. this I, I'm at the rock bottom. I feel like I'm at the rock bottom. You know, you have to have a social life. But you also want to do your photography. You also want to be your own boss. I'm not saying I'm giving up. I'm never fucking giving up. But I'm at the bottom right now. I'm at the rock bottom. And... I'm doing my 9 to 5. A lot. Five days a week. And then one of those days... You know, social life, being Dennis, and then also photography. Okay, so if I have one day to focus on photography, I have my business, I have my fashion, and I have my art. Within one day, no. Then doing a small things on one day, and you're not getting a lot of things done. You're just getting, you're just focusing on things three major things that is like you're pushing so little if you're just doing it one day (sighs) um yeah I was at a photography museum yesterday photographiska and it was the Swedish national day yay um and when I got there, um, on the second floor, I'm not, I don't remember the photographer's uh, name now, but this person has created like all the backgrounds. It was like sort of, I got this Gatsby vibe, you know. They created these spaceships made out of wood, they created cool helmets. And it sort of felt like this, we went to another planet and started a new life. And that that sort of feeling of uh, a photography series. Uh, It was interesting, it was really interesting. And it was the, I was, um, I I felt alive. And maybe that sounds ridiculous to you. But, and I know everyone's different, but I've had a taste of your world and it sucks so 
fucking much. I've had a taste of your world. And it sucks so fucking much. You go home. You sleep. You wake up. You work. You go home. You sleep. You go up. You work. You go home. Sleep. You go up. You work. You go home. Sleep. You go up. You work. You go home. Sleep. Did you feel like I repeated that too many times? Because if I counted that right, that's five times. You think that's much? You think that is much? No. 24 hours in one day. Five days. 24 hours each. One week, one month, one year, ten years. All of a sudden, what the fuck am I doing with my life? Where am I? Me? At the moment, I'm there. I am there. I am fucking five days a week. Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Sunday. It sucks. It fucking sucks. I know it's the 50th episode. It would be something special. But guess what? I'm keeping this real. It's not the Instagram life. It's real fucking life. And yes, I'm swearing so much. Cause tired of it all. Am I only complaining? No. But if I can't do me, do my photography, then what the fuck? It was so long ago I did my art. And when I do my art, I become a whole different person. I become the best person I can ever be. But working 9 to 5, no, man. And... If you're okay with that, let, let me just let me let me say something really scary. If you know me, if you listen to most of these episodes, you know me, my art, how much it is important for me as an artist, as as me, as as a happiness for me. That's that. That's me creating my photographs. That's happiness. Feeling alive. And I told myself this in the, yesterday in the mirror. And this was quite interesting because I went like on a rant or something. Um, or like it's a speech. And I'm, 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 I'm sort of going to tell it to you. You... Um, God, I feel small right now. Um, <clears throat> sorry. Um, you feel so much when someone dies. It becomes unbearable. Unbear unbear unbearable. I think that's the word. Everything just drops and emotions gets the best of you. When someone dies. You can go to a museum and feel and have those same feelings without no one dying. But it's up to you how much you want to feel alive. It's, it's up to you. What I want. What I want. 
is for you to feel with no one dying. No one that's close to you needs to die. No one needs to die. You should be able to feel alive without no one dying. And sometimes you don't even feel then. And you know why? You're so stuck with making money all the time that you forget that you're a human being. If you don't believe me, I've been there and I'm there right now. Why I'm crying and this is the first time I cry today is because I do things I want to do. Not things I need to do. But I'm being forced. In a way, if I want to survive, if I want to make money, if I want to have a stable life, I need to do things the hard way. I need to take things as it is and always tell myself that I'm never fucking giving up. You can punch me as much as you want, reality. You can put me through the ground. You can... I don't fucking care. I'm getting where I want. I am getting where I want. I am getting where I want. Fuck money. I need to make it. But I'm gonna make the money. I'm gonna make the money work for me and not the other way around. And now it is that way. That I work for the money. I carry tons and tons of weight every single day. And if you don't believe me, that's actually true. I did some fucking math on it, really. Like, let's say... Um, uh, a carton of... Like a box of fries is 10 kilos. And if I throw five, uh, uh, 50, 50 of those fry, fries, that's 500 kilos. Yeah, th that's 50, 50 box of fries. That's not much. We do 100, 200 each, maybe. That's... A lot of fucking kilos. And then there's the other stuff, like the burgers and just like everything that the restaurants need. You carry so fucking much. So, in a way, yes, this fuels me. Because I'm getting the shit out of reality. I am working at a job that gets me good money. But I sacrifice my physical body my muscles and everything and that fuels me so fucking much but i'm gonna be honest it hasn't fueled me for a while you know why it did first when i first started it you know why because i thought it sucked it still sucks but i've gotten used to it that's so dangerous and I'm looking at you who's making money, maybe not doing a shit job as I'm doing, but none, but another job. At first, when you first started there, you might got confused. Do I want this? Or no, fuck this, this sucks. One year later, maybe even less than six months, maybe ten years later, you've forgotten who you were. That job you hated, you forced yourself to like it. Now, you don't even know what happiness is. Am I making sense or am I just like, yeah, you're, you're pushing it. No, I'm not fucking pushing it. Trust me, I'm not fucking pushing it. If you had the taste of feeling... Like if you had someone died, I need to go that fucking far. And that's so horrible. I need to go like, have you ever felt, yeah, when your mother died maybe? Do I have to go that far for you in order for you to like realize that, oh yeah, I do have fucking feelings.
It shouldn't be like that. <sighs> what am I telling you? I'm telling you how I feel. I'm telling you how I feel. And then please wake up a little bit more every day. And I know it's fucking hard because... <laughs> I'm numb. I am numb when I'm here. I always get revived in a way. I want to help people. I want to make people feel with my art. I'm so cautious of what I do what kind of art and like how it can relate to you to you the viewer out there if there's one person listening if there's two people listening if there's five hundred thousands millions billions whatever I want to reach a lot of people because please make let me make you feel alive I know I have it in me I know I can transfer one a feeling to another human being, to two people, to three people, to again five hundred thousands, millions and billions of people. I know that. I know that. You know, I saw something horrible today. And I think it made people feel close relatives to this person feel maybe it will may even make you cry and yeah it should make you cry or you might get sad even though you don't know this person but it's horrible right these things shouldn't happen these horrible things but because they do and the more horrible they are the bigger chance of you feeling When I was in school, when I was like, well, you know, my teenage, teenager years from like 13 to, well, 12 to 15. I had this classmate and she wasn't that, I mean, she smoked a lot and, you know, drank and, you know, that popular person. And then, you know, the person got to be an adult and, you know, you see Facebook posts on like, you know, from old classmates and the person is like getting better and working and working a shit job maybe because you know wasn't the best at school you know the, the typical thing she posted two photographs two pictures one holding a baby the second, the baby's hand on hers. Oh, cute, huh? She just delivered a baby. That baby died before giving birth. So the, so the baby that she was waiting for for maybe nine months. Look at my belly. It's getting bigger. She's soon gonna come out. Fuck. She's soon gonna come out, and obviously that happened. Fucking Siri. The baby's soon gonna come out. Say hello to the world. Comes out. Dead. Haven't even had one gasp of air. To head. So, this 23 year old mother holds a dead person in her arms, maybe for the first time. And worse than that, it's her own daughter or son that could have, you know, 
been someone affected people's lives. But no. <sighs> no. You're not here. You didn't even have a chance to be here. To put up a fight. Against the reality of it all. <sighs> and I was at the sub. Uh, I was at the subway train. Uh, the train, yeah. Um, and I was just looking at people, and for a split second, for a few seconds, I imagined. A father at the age of 40, a teenager, an old person, all being babies. Because we've all been there. But now we're here, we're different, we look different. We've been so through so much. But not this baby. No. For some reason, by before it even started and I'm gonna close it off with this I was when I was delivered c-section my father told me that I came out completely black I had my umbilical cord, if that's what it's called, um, around my neck three times. Like one, two, three, three times, choking me to death. My heart stopped a few times. And then, did, did, all of a sudden, a heartbeat came. They obviously removed the cord from my neck and I started to breathe. I came into this world barely surviving death. I survived, I will survive now, I will survive tomorrow, I will survive within a week, I will forever survive and fight and my purpose in life is to make you feel. Me, I'm just an observer. Oh, this is what reality is? Money, work. I experience the things you experience, but I feel on a level that's... that's, that's uh, more sensitive, I guess, and I'm just being like, no, fuck this shit, this is not right. I'll tell you what is right. To my art. And if you don't think it's right, if you only feel, if you only shed a tear, whether it's of happiness or sadness, then that's, that's enough for me. Thank you guys so much for listening to the 50th episode of My Trip to Reality. And I'll see you guys next week. <laughs>